Welcome back to GG Mobile, and today we're playing a the Cincinnati Bengals, and I'm the Colts. Let's see if they can remain undefeated in this one. It's the Colts going up against the Bengals. So let's send you up now to the Colts. I'm going to skip that. Brandon Guyman and Charles Davis. I'm kicking off it. No, yeah, yeah. And there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store. Horrible Between kick. Between the Indianapolis Colts and the Cincinnati Bengals. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Nice tackle. On the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Cover two. It's second down. Don't look it on the screen, Bernard. Oh. Barely. Deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. What really hurts defenses on screen passes is if they eat up one of their levels right away. Because you know most defenses are three levels. D-line, linebacker. Oh, you could have got the ball. But on a screen pass, you're inviting the defensive line to get past them. And then you throw the ball over their heads. And now there's just two levels left to try and stop big guys out in front of a guy running with the football. From the four, it's second and goal. They're able to get a get couple tackle. here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Nice Let's tackle. Here. Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. On now is Sean Sweezum to try the field goal here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Yep. Sweezum will get this one to go. It's good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. So the opening drive for him here on their home turf results in a field goal. Now that's the way you want to get things started. Your stadium, Take your the crowd, name. you've got the ball, put points on the board first, and let everyone start to celebrate. Most likely going for a good win. Because he's the fastest player. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Yeah. drops down incomplete. Plus I had Instead, second pressure. Down. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Back to the air. Lock on second down. And incomplete. Wow. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That is, there's no way that Mon Moncrief. Uh, yeah, Moncrief. The gun on third down, lock. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Wow. What a touchdown. Let's go. I even called it. I even called it. And nothing too crazy there, a quick slant, and then he just had I, I thought he was good. I thought he was gonna be tackled right away. Like, that, and I mean the like there. Right to the receiver who's I thought he, he should have been tackled. Moving. Sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone, and the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball was out of his hands quickly. Into the Seven to the three. Receiver, and then he was gone. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. This one taken from the seventh. And he 
Goes up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Get the tackle. Thirty yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit get, different from the Someone got injured? When you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself. I didn't know anybody got injured. They're running it. No, they're not. Second down, Dalton. Fumble. Dang. Overstorm blitz. And feel the side of the loop all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the side. Intercepted. Intercepted. Picked off by Darius Butler. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Wow. Killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. Bengals suck. And it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Now the Colts offense gets and man 17 on the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in the touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with nice the catch. coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last they time. They really challenge. Stands. Yep. Why would they even do it? Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. It is a coach. Nice spell. You hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to... No matter what, I'm going to go for bail. On whether to actually challenge the player or not. Every single in team I go case, on. It didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably mm -hmm. feel really confident... And then all of a sudden, boom. Okay, I thought Bell's going to be injured. You take a look at it. You're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Here's Luck now on second down. The left side, it's Dorsett. And he's going to be out of bounds down to the 25. Let's get that first down. 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And they talked about how important the passing game was going to be against that defensive look. Good job there going to the air for the first down. It's all about preparation. It's all about planning. And then it's about execution. So they put it all together in practice. Okay, this is what we think we're going to see. This is how they get to it. And then when the game comes, read it and attack it. Here's Locke. And he will find his man on the outside. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Offense coming up, needing two yards on third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure... Wrong one, okay, yep, wrong one. I meant to hit square. To meant to hit square. To the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they I'm going for it. We're going for it. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play. But I, I know this is a horrible idea, idea, but we're going for it. Still have a chance. A Fourth and two, we can go for it. We can go for it. There we go. First down before he's tackled at the 12. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Charles Davis, Sometimes I just uh, put in random games, to begin quarter number two. And random games, got it first and so I will do the Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure, with the Colts. Now a play fake here on first down, sliding out of the pocket. This is Bell on the dump off. It'll be a two-yard game, and that'll make this a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Out to his left. Looking for intercepted. Come on. By George Iloka. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Come on. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
Oof, almost a safety. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. They want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So we have now seen connection number one between Dalton and Adriel Jeremiah, A.J. Green. Say that again. Adriel Jeremiah. Look at you. You are full of knowledge and information. Nice tackle, you know nice tackle. I bet Andy Dalton learned his full name as well because he figured out quickly, this is going to be my number one target. I got to know this guy in a big way. I can't help it. I'm just sitting back in admiration right now. This defense tells everyone that plays against them, you're not beating us running the football. That's who we are. That's what we're about. It's not going to happen. If you're going to beat us, you better pick another way. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Quick pass play there on the slant, Charles. Works out well for the offense. The offense loves it. The defender hates it. Hard to get through the body of the receiver to get to the football trying to cover a slant. Get the, get the fumble. There we go. There we go. There we go. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But, hey. Let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big nice, Ben. Nice run, run Bell. Creating something good for your team. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. The defense came out with a look that they had prepped for all week to attack. They took advantage, got the first down. Ooh. And the key words in there, prepped for all week. They really nice studied them. Nice tackle. Understood their tendencies. Knew what they liked to do. And prepared their game plan accordingly, and boy, the payoff was good. Two minutes to play here in the morning. first half. We'll come back to Cincinnati after this. Seven three still. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis Wide open. of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, Parker. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Well, they've got it down to the three, but now this is third and goal. There's a so many options. I think they were looking at something out central casting. Wide open. Right now. Oh, come on. Get there. Time out, chance to regather, regroup, and get set. Yeah, no, why not? And his kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So it's an old school extra point, but certainly a disappointment that they couldn't get six. Yeah, when you see 19 yard field goal in the box score, you kind of shake your head. But their head coach decided three was enough. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back up? Nice sack. Down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground. Nice sack again. They got to him again. Akeem Ayers in there to drop him. And sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. So, Brandon, we've sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. The Bengals bring out their punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Block it. Nope. He'll take it at the 42. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And possession will switch hands, first and ten. And the Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And this is a spot late in the clock, near midfield, though. Maybe take a couple chances, see if you get in field goal range. You do that if you have trust. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. 
So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a first down throw, Lock. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Yeah, we're going for field goal. We're going for field goal. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Made his first. This now from 42 yards out. And his kick is indeed good. And that will do it for this first half. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports. Nobody cares. Well, we're going to let you off a little easy there, LR. Halftime interrupted and we are ready to get to this third quarter. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Third down now following the run. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing it. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Carlos Dunlap with a big-time yep, shake third. on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. Come on, no one yard line, one yard line. Was hit. That'll be out of bounds. And how good three yard line. That? They'll say the three yard line. That's where they spot it. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up in the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part went to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get good the stops, good stops. Back-to-back -back one yard runs here, so that leaves them with a third down and eight. Tough day. Tough Let's get the three and out, right and, and then the score more points. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Shit the ball. Nope. And they're going to get this one up past the 25. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. So they're on that play. Offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase nice the receiver stop. and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to... Talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. And they're moving on crossing routes. If you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Now a right side completion here by LaFell. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, the offense lining up first and ten. Charles on the slant. You always need good ball placement. They got it there. Brandon, the quarterback, put it in the exact perfect spot. Right to the upfield shoulder of the receiver. And he used his body to oh, keep what? the defender away. Okay, good. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? The quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Fakes the give to Bernard. Dalton surveying the field. Boyd's the target and he hands it over the middle. Touchdown, Bengals. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Tyler Boyd, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals have got it back to a one score game. Good pass, clean catch, and a house call there on the fly route. And not that much room to operate. So that tells you about his acceleration. We always talk about being able to go from 0 to 60 real fast. 
Took him less time than that to get the top speed and complete that play. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Good catch, good, good catch. There and it moves the chains. What the run? I'm going to let the clock run down. Back One more quarter to go. Cincinnati. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now a first down carry by Bell. Oh, look at the juke. And he's able to nice get run, nice run. to the 40 yard line. 10 yards on the pick up there. And it's good enough for an Indianapolis first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to I got hit on the wait, on the throw. And some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was First designed, down. but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to. Oh, what was that? Still left on second down. On second and ten, lock. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And a good quarterback that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some nice sort catch. Like no! Good win. Come on. That's probably why... He's only 75 overall. 75 overall. The only reason why I picked him up because of his speed. Touchdown. We won. We're gonna win. We're win. We're gonna win. With his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year, and the Colts are able to grow their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. This one taken from the seven. Oh, no. Oh, no. Giovanni Bernard, nothing but green grass. That was just lucky. That was lucky. Well, we just run the clock down, and that's how we win. Nope, we're not going for this. Nope. Kick the extra point and come back and rely on your defense. Let's go offense. And the Colts coming out now. I thought that was going to be it, but be I guess not. Off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like offense hasn't been, been out yet. Again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a oh. move right now. And they want to get nice. there and show it. Yeah, hoping to Taking off the clock. This go around. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. 
But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Now Love, he's going to fire one, and he's got a man complete. Let's go. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. The no way. No way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. That's a big upset. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. Skull Bennett. Time. On first down, it's long. And oh, a crusher. I had to take a risk. And they'll start with great field position at the 41 yard line. And out now, here come the Bengals. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up now? Go to the ground game and surprise the Giovanni Bernard. Flag, flag, flag. Into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, we lost it. He'll go down at the 28. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side. I, uh, it's just their first. They've got still know how they here in the final stages. How does that even happen? I whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. Oh, this is our first loss. Of course, when I record, but everything bad goes happen. Everything bad happens. So you heard decline it. This is a neutral zone infraction. Yeah, the defender wanted yeah, to why would they even decline it? After he had jumped, unable to do so. I still have a chance for uh, a stop. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, Dalton. Come on. Throw it. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. And another timeout taken by the Colts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Skull, let's get the stop. Nice. This is my last timeout. By the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Oh, they get to the football. Get them. Who's that? Dal Dalton. Oh my gosh, why couldn't he have done that sooner? Good win. Bennett. Corridor set. Dorset! Wow! No way that just happened. We're still in this. Dante Moncrief. In the final minute. And the How does that happen? Maybe that was a little bit too early, but better than nothing. Probably yelling really loud right now. Got the stop. Let's get the stop. This one taken from the seven. I thought it was over. I guess not. To the 26 yard line. 
after everything that happened to us, we come back. Okay, this interception. Oh yeah, number five wasn't Dalton. Never mind. Nice sack. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Why not just call timeout? Back to throw. He drops it off for Bernard. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. They're going to air it out. They're going to air it out. By the offense. It's just their they should air it out. Two more to use here in the final stages. They'll look to throw. Oh. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll get it all the way out near midfield to the 45. Flag on me. Flag on me. Flag on me. Oh, guess not. I'll accept that. So a little grabbing there, but this time it goes against the offense for holding. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. He'll look to throw. Finding time. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. They suck at defense. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Miss it, miss it. No. Overtime it is, overtime it is. Let's go, let's go. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still receive football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Short kick here, fielded about the 17. Yeah, they're gonna wind up with pretty good 36 yard line, let's go. Let's get this touchdown right here and end it. Let's get this touchdown right here and end it. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. Oh, what the... I'm, okay, we're not running anymore. We're not running anymore. We're passing. Only passing. That gets doubled, doesn't it? At least because now the crowd really wants to be involved. Only if I have to run, I have to run. But. Wide open! Why why did they leave him wide open? And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard. Why did I just run it? Okay, now I'm making the exception to run because we're not that far off from the red zone. Good strong run against the 3 4 set. And that 3 4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the Nice the catch. Nose, Hold on, good ball. Hold on. Double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to No stupid plays or anything. So no stupid plays. When you play Let's and get this touchdown and go. Let's get this touchdown and go. Let's get this touchdown. We won. We won. Let's go. Let's go. 33 to 27. What a game. What a game. I definitely lead uh, rushing yards. I know you what happened with the takeaways. I'm just stupid. Definitely had them less completions. Well, who cares? Let's go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.